G'day, I'm Adam Hills. Join me along with Alex Brooker, Josh Whittacombe and Johnny I Vegas. Did <laughs> I did it! Sorry, sorry. <laughs> it was a bit of a twat and he's under some carpet. <laughs> In Taylor Park. He, 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 he always shouted at dogs. Sorry, <laughs> God. I made sure he made eye contact. <laughs> I was going to go around the back, but I thought, I want you to fucking know who did this. <laughs> <laughs> Two more. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> I once had a wank over a nun. <laughs> um... Piss in the bath and pretend it was <laughs> pretend it was James Bond and it was acid. <laughs> and I used to sit there and like work out how long I'd go without giving them, you know, telling them the answers to everything they wanted to know. <laughs> anyway, let, let's do this. <laughs> Feels good to get it off your chest. <laughs> Okay. It's nice to share it with a live audience. <laughs> G'day, I'm Adam Hills. Join me along with Alex Brooker, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so oh. sorry. I was holding it again. And you know, all he did no, was. No, I'll do nothing. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit. This is going to no, take forever. <laughs> I expect you to smell of piss, Mr. Bond. <laughs> oh, oh, why am I crying in the promos? I saw a bloke catch a cap and put his penis in its mouth, and I told no one. He should have lost his fucking rod license. <laughs> wrote a strongly worded letter to the Angling Association. <laughs> uh, OK. Yep. Balls deep, he was in... <laughs> and you know what fish are like? They look shocked enough, don't they? <laughs> Natural environment. <laughs> Johnny, what have you got? A definite three. <laughs> definite three, that's in the bank. If apostrophes are allowed. <laughs> and two made up animals. <laughs> so what are you gonna go for? What are you committing to? Alright, imagine a leopard, but a different version of a leopard, and it's a jeopard. <laughs> A, a jeopard. Or, or a joss, which is like a horse. <laughs> Just leave that was the game. <laughs> I've got PJs. <laughs> PJs. So you got you got pyjamas, basically. Yeah. So, so you got a seven-letter word. Basically. What? Well, technically. That yeah. counts. PJs <laughs> counts as pyjamas. You're doesn't shitting it? me. You're not going to get. Yeah. You're not going to get pyjamas. <laughs> Pajamas. This what is like are you a seven little about, man. <laughs> uh, Susie, is PJs in the dictionary? Well, PJs are in, but they're sort of abbreviation normally on normal countdown. I'd probably say no. But it's a three, and you know. You know what? You are arguing over whether you're going to allow <laughs> a man who can barely dress himself. <laughs> <laughs> An apostrophe. <laughs> Like I offer any threat. <laughs> Can I just clarify that's not going as a seven? I just want that cleared up. <laughs> I don't, want, I don't think Ofcom are coming in. I think we're going to be okay. Does it come from stars above? Is it underneath the willow tree that I've been dreaming of? 
much. I think you should let him out there. Yeah, yeah. no, dude, seven, seven's fine, man. That's fine. Pajamas, wicked. No, OK. <laughs> uh, we'll give him a three. Woo! <laughs> What have you got, Ramesh? Got, I've actually, I think I've got a five, yeah. but I've also might have a ten. Oh. Now, I know that sounds unlikely. My five letter is Japes, and I've also got PJO, which is an abbreviation for pejorative. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming you're going to let that go. You let that bullshit go. So. <laughs> No, I, w I would have let it go, but it's a ten-letter word. We can only go to nine, I'm afraid, so... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is an Bullshit. absolute it's, joke, it's, mate. It's clothing for children so they don't get cold at night. And you're calling it bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Freeze, do you? My, you issue, you is, freeze. my issue is not with the concept I of pajamas. I can't wait for the council to take your kids off you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're not, no, they're not allowed clothes at night because it could be misconstrued as a seven-letter word. <laughs> Last year, one of your tweets went viral as well, right? Because of how much weight you lost. Oh, yeah, but I was, I was dicking about with the... It's like an app. No, I'd lost loads of weight. Oh, shit. Yeah, wow. I did. I, got, I did get proper thin. Is that an app or is that a real No, no, I did. I, I got right down to it. If that was a full length picture, I still carry this bad boy. This is the app. You can do it. Man. I tried one with you still. What? Yeah. <laughs> Swear. There is a picture of you here. That's you normally. And then, like. I was going to say, it's a shit app. What you do, you. <laughs> <laughs> and then, then, this is what it looked like if, if you slimmed it down. Nasty normally. <laughs> In a gym workout. Hey, you slim it down like this. <laughs> As our remaining insulin floods through us, plain common sense insists we ascend Dubai's biggest tourist attraction, the Burj Khalifa. Holder of eight of Dubai's 149 world records. What floor are we going to? 124. Hey, Bill's Bill's attention. Yeah. Isn't it? The composer is to be congratulated. Yeah. Yeah. And what two vertigo sufferers wouldn't want to stand upon the world's highest observation deck? But something in me in my brain is telling me that a gust of wind is going to take me through that gap. I'm worried my glasses will fall off my nose. No, don't, please, please, please. I think oh, I think maybe it's for this, oh, no, no, so you can have no, a casual no. look. No, I, no, I, I'm picking it. It's getting really weird buzz in me, in me testicles. Sure. I'm not in a, any sexual. No. Your body that. language was not telling me that that was a good thing. Let me hit you with some stats here, Johnny. Right. Highest residential apartments, most floors in any building in the world, tallest freestanding structure in the world, world record for vertical concrete pumping. That's a great one now to that, get. That's... 605 metres. World's second highest swimming pool. That must sting. That's got to hurt. And my favourite, the world's highest toilet, which I plan on using. Yeah, I don't really need to read how I up here. There's a good way to go. What, it'll be like two thirds up or something? Yeah. Oh, 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 just, oh, who cleans the windows? It's so high. I've gone out the other side of my words ago. How can you be so casual at this? Because it's so high, it's become silly. That's why. I'm going to take you out of here, Johnny. So I, so I just look, for, look at it from let's over there. Let's go and use the world's highest toilet separately. Right, OK. Johnny, do you think anyone ever judges you by your accent? Yeah, of course you do. It's not your accent, Johnny. It's the bollocks you talk. <laughs> I know that I'm just by my accent because there's certain letters, there's certain uh, vowels that I miss out. If there's whole words you miss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, sorry, Jimmy, <laughs> when I run over you later. <laughs> <laughs>
Johnny, what's the thing that you're proudest of? You really want to know? Yeah. One time I told a builder to fuck off with a quote. One time you... A builder came round with a quote and I just opened the door. <laughs> I was in the early stages of pissing myself and I went, just fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even discuss it with him. He came round and went, it's going to be about when just fuck off. <laughs> I was in the early stages of pissing myself. <laughs> it's the funniest phrase I've ever yeah, yeah, yeah. Why did you open the door then? No, cos he went... Cos, Polite. Cos, Right, I actually thought he might have a good quote and I wouldn't mind pissing myself for the... <laughs> but I actually squeezed the end of my penis and ran to the toilet. <laughs> and look, it's not a party without some shambolic games being played and seeing as Johnny's got the shambolic bit covered, let's add a game into the mix on New Year's Eve. Johnny is going to try to represent news stories of the year by drawing them and our guests have to identify the stories in what we're calling the Vegas Games. <laughs> the Vegas Games. <laughs> All right, so here's what's going to happen. What's going to go wrong? I'm going to hand you a card with various news stories on it. We've got two teams. Right. We've got Josh's team, we've got Alex's team. OK, here's your first one. Can you draw that? Oh, right. can I? Uh, Are you going to drawing, Johnny? I went to art school, mate. Sorry. <laughs> and I ended up doing ceramics. I, I, I could have done this on a potter's wheel. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Yeah, yeah. Go. Um, boo boo who? Ru Rudolph. Oh, uh, kangaroo Roger, Roger the kangaroo died. Oh. Roger the kangaroo died. What's he. No, a penis. <laughs> kangaroo pissing. What? Kangaroo. Kangaroo. Seriously? Oh, What's he playing with? A ball. A spirograph. His willy. His, his <laughs> penis. Oh, How is that willy? There's his penis. penis. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Testicles. A baby. A ball. He is... Soccer ball. Hockey. I mean. You're getting football. closer. You're getting football. closer. Football. A rugby kangaroo ball. Rugby. What kangaroo has a hockey ball? <laughs> Oh, my Francis God. OK, kangaroo. Oh, sick man. <laughs> you know when you said you went to art school? the ball. He's playing a certain game. That's cricket. cricket. Kangaroo cricket. The Australian cricket team. Yes, the Australian cricket team. It's the Australian oh. cricket team. Oh. Being accused of ball say? tampering. Oh, I, don't, I don't want to complain, but for future reference, starting with an animal that isn't involved in the story does... <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right, all right. But, for reference, did I draw a squivel? No. <laughs> did I draw a random animal playing with itself? No. It was a kangaroo playing with its balls. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to give you that one. Go, go, take that one. Adam, Devon is on it. Devon is a place on it. It is on it. <laughs> That's why it doesn't work. <laughs> Devon is on Earth already. <laughs> Heaven isn't on Earth. That's why it's remarkable and that's why it's worth doing a song about it. But you might as well say Shropshire <laughs> is a place on Earth. It would apply to any county. Are you pulling apart a joke from 45 minutes ago? That's right. <laughs> there, was, there, there, there was something bugging me about I'm it. I'm drawing here! I'm drawing! <laughs> you know what it is? Uh, okay. They ran out chicken at KFC. Yeah. Oh! Yeah. Oh! Very important oh. news story. Sorry. All right, can you draw that? <laughs> this also happened this way. Oh, week. yeah. Oh, okay. good luck with this one, genius. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Oh. oh. I'm not even I know, I know. Look, I'm going to draw a beard on myself. Hey, see what I'm drawing here? It's a real sweet dictator. Oh, oh this is lovely. It's oh, really yes. nice. Is it Danny Dyer getting married? <laughs> <laughs> Donald Trump. Oh. It is Donald Trump. Oh. That's not the news story. No, it's it. Donald Trump meeting someone. The Australian <laughs> cricket team. <laughs> <laughs> Kim Jong Un. Uh, not Kim Jong Un. Vladimir Putin. It is a Kim though. Oh. Kim Kardashian. Kardashian. Kim Kardashian. It is. Well done. Right. So that means Josh's team are the winners. Yeah. 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 Now, yeah, you should be. earlier in the show, we answered a Can challenge. Can I just stand there and carry on drawing? If you want. Yeah, go on. Just uh, memories from my life. <laughs> <laughs> earlier in the show, we answered a challenge from... My dad. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! For Alex Whoa. to become... Johnny, can you... You can you draw... amount to nothing! <laughs> <laughs> You 
you've got sketch pads in front of you. You're going to be doing yeah. some life drawing. Uh, Rob, can we yeah. take a look at your picture? Because I'm sort of on, I did sort of like more of a profile because I was on the side sure. a bit. It wasn't, let's, so, let's gone for that. Say, mm. even, <laughs> yeah. even but but I was expecting better even from yeah. you. Well, did he have clown he... shoes on? Uh, no, <laughs> he didn't. I couldn't draw what I see, Jim. No, sure, you're an artist. Sarah, can we take a look at yours? You can. Um... <laughs> so what I've done is I've kind of replicated the cock and balls with his nose and his mouth as well. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you, do you know what the interesting thing about that is, Sarah? If I had to pick him out of a lineup, I would be able to identify him from that. <laughs> You've really captured his essence. Yeah, I thought so. I mean, I, 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 I could see his essence. Um... <laughs> Sean, can we take a look at yours? <laughs> I ran out of paper for the head. <laughs> Where are you holding it? It kind of looks like your head's just on top. <laughs> Uh, Johnny, can we take a look at yours? I, I tried to draw it quite sympathetic because I've, I've lots of live models have modelled for me in the past and lots of court cases have followed, but um, <laughs> so I tried to, to do a, a, a close representation. Oh, so. Johnny Vega. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think we can agree. Five points go to the best picture. I think Johnny Vegas, everyone. <laughs> Come on, that's my bro, I'm cuz. Vegas is a sick man. You're a sick man. I love you. I love working I with you. I fucking love you too, bro. Whenever I, whenever I turn up and they go, it's gonna be trouble, he walks in the door and they go, oh, Johnny, you're such... <laughs> you're such a consummate professional. <laughs> hey, so what's the maddest thing you've ever done on a show? I've heard it. There's rumours that you shitted on a show. You pretended to be a dog. I didn't shit on a show. I shit during a show. <laughs> no, I was doing a stand-up tour. I had a critic turn up and they were at the front and we'd been touring for months. I said, oh, have you come to review the show? And he went, well, not really. Didn't want to, but I have to. And I went, so you're not the comedy reviewer? And he went, no, I do pet shows. <laughs> so I convinced a woman to put a belt round my neck and walk me around like a dog. <laughs> like Crufts. <laughs> and I commented on how the show was going. And then I went, oh, he could be in trouble now. And all I did, and I said, I squeezed out that much. <laughs> <laughs> Just it, that much. Did it? And my own sister was sick in her handbag. <laughs> oh, shit! She's no, been no, a big supporter of my comedy up until that point. You thought you released the fudge door, bro. <laughs> you were showing me an amazing amount of respect. It's like having a crazy uncle around. <laughs> no, man! Uh, what was I was waiting for you to give me the onslaught. Bro, I look up to you. I think you're sick. From PG tips to all the fucked up crazy stuff you do. Bro. I've done other things. <laughs> I'm what? not leaving this interview on PG tips and the other stuff. <laughs> if that sums up your career, <laughs> that monkey went down. <laughs> do you still keep the monkey? The company went bust. So what? See the monkey you played. Do you want the truth? I've got 15 of them boxed up. <laughs> Give me one. And I've told my son I'll sign the boxes, and that day when the bus hits me, sell them, baby. <laughs> A small man who couldn't stop laughing assured us that no trip to Dubai is complete without heading to the desert. So we're doing exactly what he said, heading 45 mins out of town in search of sandy action. You wouldn't know to look at me. There is just a tad of uh, adrenaline junk here. As long as it takes no more physical exertion than, you know, putting your foot down. Tourists who love water-scarce topography can ride camels, ski across the dunes, or fly over them in a balloon. It's at this point that the laughing man's chuckles start to have a hollow ring. My name's Mitch. All right, guys, you ready for the baggies? No. no. Yes. Have you done anything to those dunes to make them roadworthy? Nothing at all. OK. Why won't people accept that there are some places that they cannot drive? It's man's overwhelming need to conquer. The elements while still a stag do. A guided wows around the dunes costs £125 for a couple of hours of sandy, gripless hell. Now, I'm not confident about this. I'm not confident. I'm not it's confident. Fine. No, 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 no. That's no. The only thing I have in common with Jeremy Clarkson is that we're both casually racist. Ah! No, no, no. <laughs> you 
gone out of your mind. <laughs> this entire sequence could have been handled by my stunt double. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, I feel trust slipping. Come on, that was a rush. That was the same kind of rush as being abducted. <laughs> that was br Come on. Oh, look at the sound. Look, I go through life um, just limping with gout. Sure. Out there, I felt like a sander ballerina. I was focusing on my own terror, but I'm pleased that you managed to uh, to let go. I did. That was, it's a driving experience in my lifetime. The people, I think, I really, I, I can't bear on it now. Is Ant and Deck because they're like, it's gone on now. They just laugh. They're like Gaddafi's sons. <laughs> <laughs> laugh at people being tortured. They just laugh. Ah! You've been tortured, you've been bitten, you have to eat this. Then they, ah, they have more torture. There's a woman in a coffin having st insects crawling all over her face. They're just going, ha, 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 ha. You can't tire of watching people going, ah, ah, ah. It's just, it just doesn't get boring. Yeah, but it's all the stuff in between where people start going, going, oh, I miss my family. I don't. They throw things. <laughs> I mean, you would be incredible on the show if you were to do it. Do they offer it to you? Every year. <laughs> and every year, I happen to be in a supermarket where I can buy stuff and I don't have to beg for it. <laughs> you know when you're doing your shopping, they go, would you like to do my um, celebrity to get me out of here? Or any of them, and you're going, yeah, but you see, I'm here and I've got nine Twixes and I don't <laughs> have to do a task. <laughs> you used to work as a door-to-door -door salesman, Johnny. Um, yeah, I did a bit. I did three nights. <laughs> <laughs> you did three nights? What, what did you sell? Uh, when, when lots of people bought the council houses, uh, I, I went door to door and offered to service the, uh, all the gas devices. <laughs> so we would come in and for only £25, we would service every device and that for, would cover you for the year. So your initial call out charge would be covered under that £25. <laughs> um, I didn't know you were going to ask me about that. In fairness, I don't even ask me why I'm wearing this ridiculous fucking shirt. <laughs> it's got naked women on it. I look like I fly an helicopter in Barbados. <laughs> <laughs> There's a woman by the buttonhole with her legs akimbo. <laughs> Jimmy, that's what I thought we'd be discussing. <laughs> Not my shady past going door to door. So don't do your. Oh, let's move on. That was a bit quiet. <laughs> all I'm saying, Johnny, all I'm saying, and I'll stand by my point... Don't you... fit! Don't fit! <laughs> <laughs> all fat men do it. They're in denial. They are grow the wardrobe, so they just put a T-shirt on with the world. <laughs> <laughs> it's got naked... <laughs> I never thought I'd be embarrassed by what I was wearing by Johnny Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> that one, she, she's playing with herself. <laughs> <laughs> and I was forced to think about long mathematics. <laughs> yeah, it's the shirt that's distracting. I've got, I've got tiny tits brushing against me here. <laughs> okay, Look, Sean. I, I have Sh two Sean, 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 Sean. Sean. <laughs> Well, you just switched him off. How did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> he, just went, he said a word, Johnny just went, mm. I'm going to get you a diffuser. A what? <laughs> and then the cat technically say, even that's a further, another step away from blow drying. A diffuser? Yeah, it's one, you know, with the little spikes in that you just run it through. What it does, it breaks it up and you'll get no split ends. <laughs> What have you done with a real Johnny Vegas? <laughs> Johnny, what do you use on your hair? Hey, 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 sunshine, I had a perm, all right, that, two minutes. I used to lacquer, I used a mousse, I used a diffuser. Didn't towel dry, cos that created heat and friction. No, I'd wrap that and I'd give it 20 good minutes. I treated it with respect. I hope that shit falls out. <laughs> I didn't mean half into that, man. Yeah, well, you did. And I mean, you know what? <laughs> Give out for that. <laughs> Look after it. You don't know where you go while you're young. <laughs> you seem to be wearing quite a similar 
outfit. I thought I thought I'd wear this because it's winter out there, so I thought I'd wear a summer shirt. Oh, because you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Not everybody can afford to travel. So what he's allowing the viewers to do is travel through his life. <laughs> yeah. sure. And you've, you've gone for this, a similar sort of... Yeah, I've done it because, once again, I turned up with a branded T-shirt that your producers wouldn't let me wear. <laughs> so they thought the option was a nine-year-old shirt... <laughs> ..and give me an earring... <laughs> ..just to upset it so I don't look like a total idiot. <laughs> she actually said, just try it on, see how you feel. I got to there... <laughs> Started crying, Jimmy. <laughs> started so crying you... because my life hasn't quite gone to plan. I fell into this in a bad way years ago in a chat room called Beauty's Castle. <laughs> my username was unabashed. <laughs> oh. And every, everyone talked in kind of ye olde English. How was the thou doest this evening, unabashed? <laughs> <laughs> the Americans in there and, and I got in a lot of trouble for suggesting that there shouldn't be a hot tub in a castle. <laughs> it was going to be genuine. <laughs> and they all told me to get out. <laughs> and I used to spend hours in there. I met a really nice girl and I went, I'll see you up in the turret. <laughs> and <laughs> and they, had a, they had a pub in there and I went in and announced myself as the new landlord. <laughs> I did and I put some guest ales in. <laughs> It was all online! <laughs> and I can't say to him, it's not real! <laughs> go in and go, on the bash was asking after it, and go... <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. And it's, I'm still scared from it. Oh, well, didn't you think, like, maybe if, if you met someone that you thought was sexy online, that they could just be this weird old man? <laughs> I, I went so far as to go to America to meet one, one that I'd met in Beauty's Castle. Yeah. Ooh, she... how, did, how did that go? She was all right for a friend, and I swear to God, I've never... And, and being, of, you know, a rotund shape myself, I feel able to say this, you know when you look, you look through the thing in your door on your hotel, right? <laughs> <laughs> you, know, yeah. you know when you do that and it distorts someone's body shape and so yeah. they, they kind of fill the glass? And I opened the door and she was the same shape! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> it, well, that, I'm it, sure, it, did wonders for her self-esteem. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what's your, your plan? I don't want to do, man. <laughs> You've got to do yours. No, I don't want to do it. I tried a bit too hard. <laughs> You're among friends, Johnny. Come on, do us your poem. Don't be shy. Oh, no, it's going to be dead embarrassing No, now. come on. It's really long, man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's not all of them. It's not all of them. It's a page. OK. I apologise. Johnny Vegas, everyone. In advance. Don't apologise. Come on, come on. Uh, OK, all right, all right. It's, it's about last orders. Ask not for whom that bell doth toll as wordy barmaid's eyes do roll <laughs> and landlord with an earnest shout calls time on drinks and ushers out. The dutiful sup up and leave but he's a last card up his sleeve with feet like landlocked deep-sea diver shuffles bar woods with a fiver he begs the lass for just one more, and one yourself, just make it right. He promises to drink it quick, yet deep down knows he's feeling sick. Not from stout or bags of scratchings, more from questions booze keeps asking. What happened to the happy me? I think, no, hang on, need to pee. <laughs> In the bog, the poet's waste, poised to ponder fonder days. Before the time of cheap warm cider, eyes of wonder opening wider. Now they narrow, tired of fun, as fat turns wet and burns the bum. <laughs> <laughs> Yet Rurvis' smile pops in his head till urine runs down inside leg. <laughs> and thus the landlord shows him out, the child inside is crying out. I was not meant for such sweet sorrow, but opts instead for see you tomorrow. <laughs> Thou stout-soaked, sig-stained, feckless soul is what for, not whom, that bell did toll. Oh. I mean, I mean, come on. I think we have a winner. Come on. <laughs> that was heartbreaking. <laughs> it was about a friend. <laughs>